Glenn, many congratulations. Off and running at the World Series of Darts. 6-3 victory. Must be over the moon with that. Yeah, I am, Phil. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a good win. It's, you know, it's different when you're on that stage. Uh, it's a big arena. Crowd was decent tonight. And, you know, I'm sure it would have been better if Mentor had won too. But, uh, you know, people probably say it's a revenge against Dimmy. It's, it's no consolation for the world match player. Let me show you that. You know, that game broke my heart, but uh, yeah, I'm pleased with that win. I knew what the carrot was, Phil. I know it's MVG tomorrow, and uh, that's what it's all about. What did you say to yourself during the break? Because you came back out, and those four legs were some of the best you played in recent weeks. I didn't go off. I didn't go, like, uh, for a toilet break. I didn't. I just stayed on stage and tried to... Um, I, was, I was fuming with the second leg, you know, internally. Um, and I just try to um, sort that out, Phil, if, if truth be told. Is it hard playing Demi when he's got that great big brace on his knee, knowing that he's got a slight injury? Is that tough for you mentally? No, no, Demi's a good boy. We'll have breakfast in the morning, we're in the same camp, etc. Uh, do you know, at times I didn't even know who I was playing. You know, it's just you against the board. It's probably when I went 3-2 down, I realised who I was playing and recognised the brace and that's... I had a few people shouting for me there when Dimmy was thrown, etc. So um, it was a tough game. I'm pleased to come through that, Phil. What was it like having the crowd back in, obviously, because you've been in the Premier League and the match play where there's been nothing. What was it like to have actual fans back in this evening? Superb. I mean, I, I've said you know, what the PDC and what Sky did at um, you know, the world match play in Premier League was fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. You know, it was tremendous. And, I didn't, you know, I thought I was playing in front of 10,000 people in Dublin, um, at Milton Keynes, you know, it was how people adapted, that was the word I used a lot, adapt, you know, about adapting, but tonight, you know, you could tell it was the end of the night, uh, you know, just, you could hear your voices probably when Dimmy didn't want to, but, you know, I don't care right now, I won. Having time to reflect, obviously, after the Premier League, the last couple of nights that, the tank looked a little bit empty from the outside looking in. Did you need that break between Premier League and the Autumn Series and coming here just to reflect and recharge? Honestly, the tank was fine. But I, I, I knew I could be a Premier League league champion alongside Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen. That's why I wasn't winning games at the end. I knew what the outcome was all about. Um, you know, if I'd have been in seventh place like, like, like Daryl Gurney was or... I probably would have won a couple of them last few games. The reason I was win, you know, drawn seven each, lost a couple and won, is because I'm, I just knew what I was playing for. Um, I should have won a, I should have won an autumn series. I felt tremendous at times. You know, four nil up, averaging 116 and losing a game. You know, you go to bed and it hurts. So I knew the form was good, but I'm a stage player. Um, and um, like I said the only thing I'm thinking of now is a, a huge game now against MVG Speaking of stages and MVG obviously the O went over the Autumn Series but do you still think he's vulnerable and he's there to be got at at the moment because his form is very erratic at the moment He's the best player in the world and it's the biggest challenge uh, as a dark player I'm a huge fan of MG, MVG that's for sure Glenn, pleasure as always champ thank you very much Thank you Phil Glenn, well played tonight. You mentioned um, on Twitter at the end of the Awesome Series how disappointed you were with that result against Simon. So was it nice to put that right for the first time of asking tonight? It just, I, I knew GL was playing well. I'm using these new flights. So there's more 180s in me, uh, but the double 16s, double A, double 4 are deserting me a little bit. So, you know, if I had a wish, the, the wish would be that I could get to Middlesbrough in the morning and I'd like a few hours on my dartboard and correct that. Um, but that's the beauty when you have a change in um, your equipment, etc. Um, I, I feel good. I feel strong. Uh, I'd love to win this tournament. And, uh, you know, it's all about confidence now for me for the Grand Prix and uh, obviously the Premier League. And yourself versus Michael seems to be the game that everyone's talking about at the moment. Is that the one that really gets your juices flowing more than any? It shouldn't be. I don't have a, I don't have a CV like what Michael has. Michael versus Gezi, Michael versus Peter Wright, I would agree with that statement. Um, I think the only issue with me and Michael was that, you know, he'd struggled to beat me. So <laughs> part of me was quite glad that Monkey was off my back now. But um, do you know what? 
he's got to play well to beat me tomorrow night. I, I'm up for this. Brilliant. Cheers, Glenn. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Glenn, just a quick word on, on the travelling, really, because it's been a, a while since you've been out into, into Europe. How have you found it over the last sort of week or so? That's, that's probably the best question of the night. I have, uh, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. Um, even when I was in the BDO, you know, I only done UK tournaments in the end. Uh, the travelling is the hardest. I don't have a young family. You know, there's no reason why I'm struggling. But, you know, when you've had three days at home in the past 28... Or 20, you know, 21, it's quite tough. But my mindset is, you know, during COVID, I was like praying to be in Austria, praying to be stuck in a German airport. So instead of, you know, I need a man up. This is my job. Um, and uh, that's what it's all about now. But, you know, inside, I'm, I, I'm a very, very happy man. In terms of the draw against Dimi, um, obviously, you, you've mentioned the match play semi-final it's probably one of the, the toughest draws you could have got really yeah I disagree I disagree I think if you look at some of the you know Van der Vaart was playing fantastic Mensa in Austria Fallon I, I, that's the one I didn't want um, uh, Demi uh, you know Cody maybe you know like who hasn't had a lot of dark practice with the, probably the games I, I wanted it was a it was an opportunity for me to right a wrong from the match play, but let me make it clear that doesn't, um, it's nowhere near uh, the disappointment. And I would swap tonight's loss for that match play, that's for sure. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much for your time, Ben. Cheers, guys. Cheers, champ. Very lovely.